It is December the 15th, 2020. This is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site. Uh, out today looking at the VB 10,000, still straddling uh, the Golden Ray at the same position we've seen it for the past uh, few days. It is uh, not moved. And uh, the word at the site today was rough. It was an unpleasant day on the water. We had pretty pretty significant swells in, uh, pretty strong wind chop on top of those swells. And from what we've seen on the weather report, more to come for the next day or two uh, as we see a C2 safety boat uh, slide by. And you can really see those waves working on that boat. It wasn't a good day to be on a small boat today. The Menorca mullet was bouncing around like a little bobber in the water today for sure. Uh, the ship is still not being cut. It is, uh, we don't know if this is because of the weather or whether they're still having some sort of difficulties. Uh, technical issues uh, not really sure haven't heard much out of uh, the powers that be that are overseeing the project but uh, and we're still having this one end of the ship opened up been waiting and waiting it seems like forever now for the second set and we know they had to do some maintenance and they had to do some retrofitting because of the uh, uh, the un some unforeseen engineering challenges that were presented uh, during the uh, the first cut of the bow section and I think those modifications have been made but again the, uh, the waiting game continues um, I don't know maybe it'll be a good Christmas present to see the see this this thing really start to get cut we're hoping that once they do engage the second cut that it goes much quicker than the first cut. As you recall, uh, the original uh, estimate of time to cut through the ship to make a cut was 24 hours, and it took three weeks. And we're just really hoping, uh, now that we've got the ship open, that we can get, get the, this cutting system started and we can see it progress at a more rapid yet safe pace so we don't have uh, all this debris raining out of the ship. We, it's it's starting to become a problem. Uh, we've we've uh, documented this with uh, the shrimp fishermen uh, having this stuff in their nets and damaging the nets and losing catch. Um, yeah, it's this is the longer the the boat the ship is open and sits in the water, the bigger the problem is, and it compounds itself with the second cut with two ends of the ship open. We've got to be wondering as this ship is is opened uh, with these larger swells coming in. Uh, first of all, what type of material is being flushed into the ship, silt-wise, sand-wise? Uh, how much additional weight that is adding 
uh, to these sections as they'll be cut. And then secondly, what's washing out of the ship while these swells are going in with this, these uh, high lunar tides that we're having now? Uh, what's being flushed out? We've noticed that we haven't seen uh, the debris uh, boats, the, the shrimp boats out working at all. Nothing's been going on there. Um, and yet we're, we're still having these reports of, of debris that is uh, being caught by uh, the shrimp, shrimpers. You know, when we see this, what concerns me really uh, a big part of this is that the, as this debris gets out, uh, the first big northeast storm that we have, uh, that material is coming right back to our beaches and it's going to be um, getting flushed back into the marsh, back into the, uh, the beach areas. And it just, it seems like we have an opportunity uh, to kind of round this stuff up in the area where it's coming out. And uh, it, that opportunity is not being taken uh, advantage of. Uh, just, uh, just an observation from the mullet. You know, we're here uh, to kind of fill the void that has developed uh, between the official sources of this operation and uh, the public and the world uh, that is kind of watching this channel to watch this operation unfold. And the trickle of information 
that comes out of the uh, unified command system is really, really not uh, not what you would expect from from an operation that has uh, so many implica implications in the community. And we become basically an independent journalist. No one else is covering this uh, story uh, like we are. And uh, we're trying to bring it to you. We're trying to get as much information as we can, uh, making our daily trips out to the site, um, looking and trying to make observations. And that's, that's, that's what we're doing. Um, we well, hope you're enjoying it. If you are um, and you're watching this for the first time, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we love to get comments. Um, the more comments we get, the better we feel about what we're doing. And uh, give us some thumbs up. Like us. You guys stay safe out there.